Hi, so I'm Troy Wolski. I'm from QDN. I'm the, the Engage Lead here at QDN. I recently uh, participated in a, in a really important partnership between CheckUp and Enabler Interactive. We created a, a new way of mainstream health providers being able to be educated on um, how to work with disability. Um, people with disability, they sometimes face barriers that we just wouldn't understand unless we spoke to people with disability to understand their lived experience of, of engaging with health providers. My name is Cody. My surname is Cody. I'm deaf and I have um, autism and so some, some good experience and some challenging experience. Um, the challenging experience was there was um, being a deaf patient at the ho hospital had been very, very challenging because the staff have no awareness around deaf uh, people communicating with their Auslan, their first language. We're all um, driven by our own experiences and, and sometimes those limit the experiences of others without us even realising. So if we do things in a certain way, that may restrict the access to healthcare for, for a particular person. So it's really important um, through this training to learn how to better engage with people with disability, to be aware of what their needs are, to ask how to help them in a way that is meaningful to them, to give the autonomy to the person with disability who's accessing your service. I think they get a bit shocked when they come across diversity of needs with people. They just think every, everyone's the same at the, at the patient at the hospital and everyone um, responds the same. Sometimes they can be a bit rude and the attitude can be a bit uh, not so good and not so well. And people with disability, they, they find barriers, um, unfortunately, in their lives, um, including in accessing healthcare, um, that often we just don't even think about. We at QDN here, we used some of the lived experience of our membership to inform stories that then became part of the app. So we worked with them to, to hear their stories, to hear their true experiences of engaging with health services and were able to turn those into a gamified learning experience where health providers can, can actually feel that experience of, of a person engaging with the service and can see when you make a decision to choose a certain response or to respond in a, in a different way as to how that experience can be quite different for the person with disability. And, and how they can feel as a result of that. Hi everyone, my name is Hoy and I'm the CEO and founder of Enabler Interactive. We are a social enterprise that uses mobile gaming technology to improve the lives of people with disabilities in our community. So the team at Enabler has worked closely with CheckUp and the Queensland Disability Network to collect real world stories and to listen to the experiences of people with disabilities and we take all that and we've turned them into scenario-based learning. And of course, working very closely with you know, the best practice um, knowledge experts out there. So simply just by doing it and completing it, you're really increasing the awareness for people with disabilities. And ultimately, that leads to better inclusion and access for people with disabilities in our healthcare networks. This is a really creative and new approach to disability awareness and learning. CheckUp are really proud to work with our partners. Enabler Interactive have a proven track record of working with disability. They were able to bring the technology know-how to the partnership. Queenslanders with Disability Network were able to tap into their extensive network of providers to ensure that our scenarios were based on real life examples and bring to life real life experiences of people with disability and their encounters with mainstream health system. With autism, um, when I get overwhelmed in the emergency the department, it happened in the past, I get very overwhelmed because of the noise. I get sensory with the noise in, in the env environment, with the lights, um, the noise, the people, the screaming, and they get overwhelmed and they can get easily get flapping and arrogated and, um, and then become really overwhelmed and then the behaviour gets really arrogated. So they need to have in mind with mental health patients um, to put them in the sanctuary room or create a, um, a sanctuary room for the ED, um, the emergency department, um, to feel safe and be patient ongoing. Now often when we talk about access and, and being able to access services, it, we understand the things that we can see that are really obvious, things like having accessible bathrooms or car parking or those kind of things. 
But what about the disabilities that we can't see? The people who have um, communication needs because um, they are blind or low vision or they have hearing impairments or they require a communication device to speak. How do we engage with those people? How do we make sure that their needs are met as well? It's really important to think about all of that and not just think about the moment when the person is with the, the clinician, but also what's the experience getting to the appointment? How do, how, what's the experience in the waiting room? It's important to think about that whole environment because that's what healthcare is all about. Um, thank you for allowing me to share my sto story. I'm um, encouraged to listen to other stories from uh, other Australian people and Queenslanders, the disability awareness training, the app, and to have improve um, accessibility and improve um, more inclusive and more diversity in, in the health sector. So I'd encourage you to download the free app. It's available there for you now. It's really important that you continue to build your clinical skills to be able to understand the health conditions of people, but also to build your knowledge of working with people. Remember, 20% of your population, your patient population is likely to have a disability. So it's a small investment of your time to make your life and the person with disabilities so much easier when engaging with health services.